What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody tuning in. I want to talk about Cam Newton, man. I came across this video a clip, which is actually a promo of, I don't know, of an interview or a discussion that he's having with Brittany Renner. Now, I, want to, I really want to discuss the fact that a lot of athletes, they don't deal with chicks like, for the most part, they know what chicks to stay away from and what chicks to deal with, okay? And to me, it seems like Cam Newton, you know, for the most part, because there was some stuff going on towards the end of his uh, relationship, his long-term relationship with the children's mother, and then when he transitioned out of that into another one, but that's a whole nother subject. For the most part, Cam Newton has stayed out of the uh, IG model drama like getting exposed by chicks you don't really see it like you don't really see him dealing with that type of drama issues with women and it was on full display in this clip that is sort of like a promotion of a discussion because you know britney renner is making her rounds she's going from podcast to podcast especially podcasts that have like male hosts most recent most recently she was on DJ Academics podcast, speaking of fresh and fit, and that video clip went, vi clip went viral. So I guess Cam Newton had an idea. So you know what, why don't I have a discussion on my Funky Friday uh, show or podcast? I'm not really sure what it is. Maybe it's just a discussion on his YouTube page. I believe this is what, uh, what his promotion of and see where it goes. And he's basically telling her to her face, listen, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really message you like that. I wouldn't DM you. I wouldn't be trying to holler at you. As a matter of fact, let's get into this clip here so you can hear this glorious clip for yourself. Again, this is a promotional clip for, I believe, Cam Newton's YouTube page. So let's check it out. <laughs> listen man I, I thought the clip was hilarious look he's telling her to her face i would not okay let's take a look at this clip and you can check it out for yourself here and let's let's can keep it let's keep it funky now okay. let's keep it funky like i'm 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 cam newton right okay. and i ain't gonna lie I'm not about to hit no DM with no Britney talking about, hey, yo, what's good? What's popping? Where you at? You in Atlanta? I see you in Atlanta. Boom. Slide through. But why not? Because I don't want to end up in your book. <laughs> Listen, the, the, the body language says it all, right? She was speechless. You know, definitely not the same energy for a fresh and fit because maybe she, maybe because, you know, Cam hasn't spoken about her publicly. I don't know. But th there's going to be a longer discussion, as a matter of fact. I will link you to, I believe, Cam Newton's YouTube page because that's where uh, the clip is. And also, that is uh, where the full, not the clip, I don't think the clip is there yet, but the clip is on his actual Instagram. So maybe I'll just link you to his Instagram as well as his YouTube page. And y'all can check it out, I believe, when it's posted Friday. So y'all can check out in its full context, okay? But what Brittany Renner doesn't understand is like Cam Newton, you know, he, he's not one of these guys that's ultra thirsty. He doesn't care that you look good on the, on, on Instagram and he doesn't care that you, you know, have this following and you set up thirst traps. He's not stepping in those thirst traps. And, and I think that's good for Cam Newton to publicly say, listen, I avoid all thirst traps in, in regards to a lot of these selfers on social media that are out here trying to get a baby by an athlete or they're trying to get some attention or some clout rubbed off on them because that's what it is a lot of these women use these guys in order to build their social media that's why immediately after they interact with each other here they go trying to expose these guys to help build their only fans or their youtube following for most of them it really doesn't work it really doesn't work unless it's prolonged or unless some really 
like crazy stuff is being put out there. But other than that, these women gain little. Now, some of them will say, well, you know, I've gained a significant following on Instagram or I've gained a significant following on OnlyFans because I think it's mainly about the OnlyFans portion, which I think these athletes should avoid any female that has an OnlyFans. Because trust me, if she breaks up with, if you break it off with her, she's gonna try to expose you. She's gonna try to expose you. That's why these guys have to avoid dealing with these social media, Instagram model type chicks because they're only looking to build their following. And they will use you in order to do that. They will use you in order to build their following up. That's why you have to be careful of dealing with these type of chicks. And that's what Cam Newton is basically saying. And that's going to hit Brittany Renner the hardest because in her mind, she doesn't think anything is wrong with her. She doesn't think anything is, is wrong with her. She, in her mind, she's a cool person. She's an attractive person. And guys like Cam Newton should want to deal with her. But guy, but Cam Newton, you know, this guy was a, a first overall draft pick, face of the franchise for the Carolina Panthers for years. His decision-making has to be different. And it was. Because for a long time, he was dealing with one woman, you know, romantically, for a long time. He had his priorities in order. I, I believe he still does. I'm not saying he's a bad person or anything has changed. Well, who he's with has changed, but you know, guys who market themselves uh, want themselves to be marketable, and they want to be able to seen as, be seen as a face of the franchise type. They can't be dealing with baby mama drama. They can't be dealing with crazy chicks that they've dealt with, Instagram models. They have to be more careful. They have to be more grounded. And Cam Newton understands, and I wish other athletes understood that. And Cam Newton is basically saying what a lot of these other guys want to say, but they're not going to say it to Brittany Renner's face because they want to sleep with her. But Cam Newton is is willing to be honest with her, and he's willing to say, hey, you know, there's a lot of these other guys that will give you the time of day. There's a lot of these other guys that will DM you. There's a lot of these other guys that will hit you up wanting to be with you or sleep with you or whatnot. I'm not one of them. And I think that might have caught her off guard with the honesty. But again, the full podcast or interview will be out there, I believe, Friday, so you can check it out in its full context. But I don't think much will change. I don't think Cam Newton is going to bend because Cam Newton has a very strong personality and he thinks for himself. And I just think she's not used to that. Brittany Renner is not used to guys saying no. She's not used to that. And, and now... I think because of the P.J. Washington situation, she now is starting to realize that guys are not really checking for her like that. And I think that's what hurts her feelings. I think what hurts her feelings the most is that a guy like a Cam Newton or others is saying, you know what? I just would not I would not deal with you like that. I, I don't I don't see you as somebody, you know, romantically that I would want to deal with. And I think that bothers her. I, I really do. I think she's bothered by that. What she has to understand is not all these guys are going to be quick to sleep with her. It doesn't matter how good in her mind she thinks she looks or how cool she thinks she is with a lot of guys. It doesn't matter. Yeah, she's, Brittany Renner is always going to find some male to sleep with. I, I don't think that's the, the issue. I think what the issue is, I think that Brittany Renner just, she's put herself in this situation. You know, guys want to date females that are not as passed around, so to speak. You know, they don't want to deal with chicks that don't deal with this guy in the industry, that guy. And it doesn't help. And Cam Newton said it, that she has wrote a book about it. Like, what guy wants to deal with a chick behind the scenes? Nobody knows about it that she ends up putting out there. Now, she may not do that anymore maybe it was just for the book because according to her it wasn't really about exposing guys but you still use that to market the book and guys look at that these athletes ain't as dumb as these chicks would say as or would think rather like these guys understand what's going on in this world of social media they understand that women are doing whatever it takes to get ahead to get the bag 
to promote themselves, to promote their OnlyFans. And they're willing to throw these guys under the bus unprovoked. Unprovoked. Only because they want to promote themselves. That's why guys like a Cam Newton is a lot more careful about the women that he deals with for the most part. You don't see him dealing with a bunch of chicks. You just, you just don't. You know, he don't deal with a bunch of chicks like that. And I think that Brittany Renner is a type of girl that she's used to guys coming at her here. No, they, they, they still going to do that. I don't think guys are going to stop dealing with her. And I will say this too about Brittany Renner. I don't think Brittany Renner is dumb at all. I don't think Brittany Renner is dumb. I think she's very calculating. I think she does things for her own purposes and reasonings. And I think that with PJ Washington's situation, I think she really thought that that would work. I really did. I think in her mind, she found somebody who she could mold and she could get a long-term relationship out with. But what ended up happening is that PJ didn't want that. <laughs> I think once the child was born, he realized it's not the life for him because he was with somebody that he felt like would not be the woman that he want her to be. Because a lot of these women will get into these relationships and they will revert back to who they were. And I think PJ was definitely afraid of that. And I think that's one of the things that really just made that crazy. Because sometimes when you wife up a chick, and she starts reverting back to who she was, you start to get ideas in your head. You're like, you know what? I, I think I made a mistake. You know, I think a mistake. Now, she may not think she's doing anything wrong. She's just being who she is, right? If a lot of these women can't be who they, who they are, who they want to be, they're going to want out. Or are they going to act out? You know, looking for attention, you know, putting stuff out there. And again, you know, Cam Newton doing this interview, He's putting it out there like, listen, I'm not trying to get caught up. Now, she could come back and say, well, I don't put men on blast. I don't expose men. Yes, I wrote that one book, but that doesn't mean anything because that was, what, a couple of years ago. Um, who have I put on blast since? That's that's what she can say. So I, I'm not saying that, you know, this interview is just, or this interaction is going to be just him going in on her without listening to her side. Of course, you want to hear both sides. But I think that her reputation is made all on her own. Okay? So let me think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you like this video and share it. I'll see you on the next one.